good afternoon. Uh, sorry if the sound quality is a bit bad, but uh, it's pretty windy. Windy out in the woods today. Uh, I'm going to go through how I set up my Hennessy hammock. Um, it's not a, a unique idea. It's an idea that was I found uh, available on several forums, um, and it basically makes the tensioning part of it really easy you can even do it in the dark and it brings the setup time down to about 30 seconds rather than a couple of minutes let's go take a look right um starting with a, a couple of adjustments um to the basic setup there's obviously my hammock in its in its snake skin uh, and this is the the tree hugger that comes supplied with it but on the end i have a carabiner and two climbing grade repel rings uh, carabine is made by DMM, the repel rings are made by Amiga Pacific. What you do uh, is take them as usual, put it around the tree and then clip it on the end. So the strain is going straight down the central part of the carabiner which has a two and a half ton braking strain as do the repel rings. None of this bending the carabine around the side of the tree Although the chance of it breaking is slim, this is, is perfect and not going anywhere. As you can see, it works for both fat and thin trees. Just one loop round. Same thing. I actually prefer I'm it attempting like that. to do this one handed, so bear with me. The guard hitch is very simple. You put it through the rings, put it through halfway again, and out the middle. So around once, through the middle, and you're done. And this is a brilliant knot for this, because what happens is if you pull the middle one, it will slide through. Okay, if you pull this one, it will not go anywhere. Not physically possible. So, a lot of times I've been using this in Borneo, Thailand, um, and Sumatra, and getting the tension right is the hardest thing. Then I've got it attached to one end. I'm going to do the same thing at the other. See, this is actually that easy that you can do it one-handed. Again, round once and through the half. Round once through the half. Okay, and I'm just going to pull. What's going to happen is it's going to slowly unfurl. All right, I can let go of that. I'm not going to lose any tension. Come on to this side. Pull it again. Same thing, the hammock is picking itself up off the floor and that's as tight as I want it on that side, that's where the Prusik knot is. Okay, come over to this side, same thing, pull, a little bit more until it's at roughly the tension I want it all the way across and that's it. To finish it off, loop it through one more time and then do a really simple quick release knot. That prevents any slippage whatsoever. And it's very simple to undo at the end. You just pull it, let it go, and slide out the extra rope. The extra rope there. So you're still left with the guard hitch at the end. So to finish off once again, slide it through, pull it round. Again, apologies, this isn't fantastic, one handed is a little bit difficult. So you've got a small loop left and just feed the other half back on itself and pull it tight. One last final bit from me. Um, I always pack my snake skins back into the bag that comes with it. Um, and a lot of the time I find that as has happened here, trees are the perfect length apart. You need to actually not even have to take it out of the bag. And actually just pretty much do it straight off the ground and that way no thorns or anything like that get involved with the hammock that's how long it took to get the tension right from bag to hammock 